Hi, Coleman. Welcome to Paraguay. Thank, Thank you so patients. much. Good, good to be there. Thank you. <laughs> it seems you're having a great year. A lot of success in your career this year. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, I think we all know Martin Luther King's speech, the famous speech, and we know about the march that took place. But did you know about about the story of Rustin before getting involved in this project? I knew probably a little more than most people did because most people, not only in America, not only in Paraguay, but around the world, did not know about Bayer Rustin. I stumbled upon really? him. I yeah, didn't know. And, yeah, nobody knew. I stumbled upon him in college when I was about 19 years old, and we were having a discussion about the civil rights movement. And then they talked about Bayer Rustin just a bit. But it, it, but it, it was very curious because. They, we talked about how, oh, he organized the March on Washington. I said, oh, I never thought about who organized the March on Washington. And then you found out, oh, but also he played the lute and he sang Elizabethan love songs and he was a star athlete and he performed on Broadway. I was like, what? And he was openly gay. Mind blown. So you get all the at information. That yeah, at that time. So your mind is blown and you start to wonder, why don't I know about him? If this person was so significant, such a key organizer, strategist, influence to Dr. Martin Luther King, and you start to understand it's because he was openly gay and history all but erased his uh, significance and, and what he gave to all of us for our human and civil rights. And that was a travesty. So he was always been on my mind since I was about 19 years old. And so I knew a little bit more. And so when this opportunity came, I thought, wow, I get to actually embody one of my personal heroes. That doesn't happen in an actor's life. It actually doesn't happen. It's very rare when you get that moment. And I know I wanted to give it everything I had. Wow, I love it. Well, you play Rustin in a movie called Rustin. So what meaning does that have for you, I mean, in your personal life and, of course, in your career? It still takes my breath away. I, I drove down Sunset Boulevard and there's a huge poster with my face and some quotes. And it's, um, I don't know, as an actor, I think I, I've always dreamed about being respected and doing good work. And then you get these gifts, these sort of cherries on top where you get something like that and it takes your breath away. And it's beautiful. And um, I don't know, it feels like, you know, there's, there's a lot of mountain climbing when you're an actor and lots of hills and valleys and windy roads and sometimes you're there right there right there at the peak and the sun is shining and it feels warm and you start to feel a bit more peaceful because also I can look back and see all the trepidatious territory the not having opportunities the things that didn't weren't successful I can see the path and this, is a, this has been a part of the path. This is an actor's path. This is a journeyman's path. And I feel very honored and blessed to be in this space right now. It's, it's beautiful, and I understand it's a moment, and I know that I'm having a great year. And I do not uh, take it lightly because we know those years are few and far in between. So I'm just enjoying it while it lasts. I love it, love it. Well, we have uh, only one minute, so you have already worked with George on a previous movie. Um, was he the one who called you for this project, or how did you receive this very important proposal? I actually received the news from Bruce Cohen, our producer, oh. who also produced oh, yes. uh, uh, the film Milk, that won an Oscar. Um, yes. He called me up and he Which says, one? he oh, says, yeah. On, yeah, on behalf, of, he said to me, on behalf of uh, higher Ground and President Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, myself and George C. Wolf, we would love for you to be our Bayard Rustin. To hear all of that in succession in one sound, you just sit back and it's just, you're, it washed with gratitude. And it's an immediate yes. Yes, I would like to try and work hard and create this complex human being who meant so much to this world. It would be my honor. Oh, well, thank you very much. It was a very, very precious talk to you. So I hope you more successful in your life. <laughs> thank you. You too.